Listen up. Mm -hmm. Today is a very good day. It is National Coffee Day. Yeah, and here on the morning show, a lot on the crew know a little something about the needing for a cup of coffee to get the day going. KCCI's Kim St. Ange is live at Grounds for Celebration this morning to check out how they are celebrating this national holiday in Beaverdale. Kim? Hey, good morning, Eric and Elizabeth. They're making some great drinks, and I've been learning about specialty drinks and some secrets to making the perfect cup of coffee, some interesting facts that you may be interested to hear too. Um, but I am joined by Jan Davis. She's the owner here of Grounds for Celebration, and we're talking about one of the popular fall drinks that you've come up with. So tell me about this one. The one I'm making now is our uh, banana nut bread latte. And it's another drink that was made up from one of our baristas. Basically, it has banana and all of our uh, flavors are just uh, pure flavor and sugar in there. And then it has a little hazelnut. And then we'll have our double shot of espresso going in. And then we also have uh, steamed milk as usual. And you've got a lot of the typical you know, pumpkin berry packages. You've got a lot of other new drinks that are uh, popular this fall. Right. We also have um, probably like a um, the most popular drink is our caramel uh, white caramel truffle. It has caramel and white chocolate in it both, and it has whipped cream on top. And also our turtle is really popular. But basically, we try to change up our drinks so for the season, so we have something new for our customers and something fun. So. And I already tried the tiramisu so. latte, and it was fabulous. And well, hopefully you like banana. You can try banana. This is our nut, banana nut bread. It's got a little bit of different flavor to it. I'm going to be very wired when I come back to work after <laughs> this because I've been tasting all these great drinks. Too. So you know, let's just say people don't um, want a specialty drink; they want just your plain old cup of Joe. Is there any secrets you have to making the best cup of coffee? We have a lot of coffee purists, as we call them, when we like to. Uh, basically. What another popular drink is an Americano, and it's just basically a hot water with um, a double shot of espresso on top. So you get the good crema and all the good flavors from the espresso. Uh, it's similar to a brewed coffee. What you get um, in Europe, the Europeans make Americanos for us Americans because they don't have brewed coffee. But we make ours with just the hot water and then put the double shot of espresso on top, so it tastes similar strength. Just to jazz Thank up your regular yeah. cup of yeah. Thank you, Jan. You and one thing she's been telling me all about again the tricks of the trade here for coffee. One thing I want to point out is she was saying if you have coffee, the sooner you can use it, the better. And also, if you want to not use it right away, it's better to actually put it in the freezer, she was telling me, than put it in the refrigerator. So just a couple of tips if you maybe have a, a thing of coffee that you're waiting to use but you don't quite want to use it yet. So very yeah. interesting to me because I did not know that. Some good advice and feel free to bring back any samples, Kim. I think we'll take them. Well, as far as